In this video, we're going to take a look at multiplying a monomial times a binomial times a binomial. As we do, we need to remember to multiply two things at a time. While the order technically doesn't matter, my suggestion would be to multiply the binomials first. Then, distribute the monomial. Let's take a look at an example where we can see this process work out. In this problem, we have the monomial times the two binomials. We will first multiply out the binomials. We do this, keeping the 4 in front of everything, by foiling. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. 2x times 1 is 2x. Negative 4 times 3x is negative 12x. And negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. We can combine like terms inside that parentheses, so we have 4 times 6x squared minus 10x minus 4. Now that we have multiplied the binomials together, we can distribute the monomial out front through the parentheses. 4 times 6x squared is 24x squared. 4 times negative 10x is negative 40x. 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. This becomes our final product when we multiply the monomial times the binomials. Let's try one more example where we do just that. Again, in this problem, we will multiply the binomials first, keeping the 3x in front of everything. As we do, we distribute the x through to get 2x squared plus 5x. Distribute the negative 6 through to get negative 12x minus 30. Again, we can simplify inside those parentheses by combining the like terms in the middle. We now have 3x times 2x squared minus 7x minus 30. Finally, to finish the problem, we distribute the monomial into the parentheses. This will give us 6x cubed minus 21x minus 6, minus 90, sorry, x. Actually, that should be 21x squared, adding the exponents 1 plus 1 to give us the 2. 6x cubed minus 21x squared minus 90x becomes our solution. When multiplying with several factors, it's important to only multiply two factors together at a time. My suggestion was to multiply the binomials first and then distribute the monomial afterwards. In this way, we can reach our final product